Hey guys, Nikki here at uh, Miami Beach, Florida, USA, and now I'll show my face this time. You guys may not recognize me, but yeah, this is how I'm going to be getting out nowadays. Now that I'm in a warmer climate and the sun's pretty strong, but yeah, this also I just got a new Go Bus cap. And my mom even said not to wear my Canada cap, the one that I was wearing last summer here. But uh, the thing is, though, my mom thinks that um, I shouldn't flaunt and say that I'm a Canadian. But nobody's going to have any idea what this cap is. So, yeah, you guys get to see me wearing my new Go Bus cap for the first time. In fact, I think when I get back to Toronto, once we get into the warmer season, then uh, this this cap will become dominant. But anyways, yeah, I started at 63rd Street. Now that's actually where the North Miami Beach neighborhood, actually North Beach neighborhood starts off at. So uh, yeah, no, North Beach starts right where I started the video. What was that? Oh, it's just a leaf. I thought it was seaweed. You know, the snack. But no, it's just a leaf. Wow, it's a very nice sunny day. I was actually scared a little bit because I was checking the weather here, like, on over the weekend. And it said it was going to rain. And it kind of scared the crap out of me. But no, it's it's nice. It does feel a little humid though and breezy, which is what Toronto feels like in the summertime. I think these are my favorite type of palm trees. I don't I don't like this palm tree type. You know, there are different types of palm trees, but uh, I think I like this one the most. You know, I kind of thought that, I had a feeling that the air would be a little bit drier in Miami than it is in Toronto in the summer, but but no, it's it feels just the same. Oh my gosh, it's so noisy here. I feel like any time I'm in Miami or Miami Beach, it has I have to wear noise cancellation headphones even though I don't have, well actually I have, I have them, but they're back in Toronto, but uh, I guess all I can do is make the best of it. But I feel like there's a lot of traffic here. Now, apparently there are new flyer buses that, um, there are new flyer MDT buses, Miami Dade Transit buses. And there's the XDE60, but there's also an XN40 bus. Which is kind of like the TTC's XE40 Excelsior bus, but I think the XN40 Miami Transit is diesel or could be hybrid electric. I'm not too sure. And I'm about to walk into the sun right about now. the birds are different down here than than there are in Toronto. Look at that blackbird there. Hello there, blackbird. Guess what? I'm Nikki from Nikki's Experience 04. I'm Yeah, you you're on YouTube now. Now I've been to this now, Miami Beach, this is basically an island, and it's part of the Dade County, what they call it. But uh, it's on the other side of the MacArthur Causeway, and look at that. I, I kind of forgot about that, but uh, the grass is different too. Like, like, look at this, you see? I think it has to do with the year round, the fact that, um, that it's uh, tropical, it's warm year round. 
Because I remember in Orlando, the grass looked just like that. Certainly a nice day for a walk. Oh, somebody's got their sprinkler on. I like how the streets are all numbered. This is just like New York City. When the streets are numbered, it's it makes it harder to get lost. Although I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, that's kind of how I feel. It might make it slightly harder though to get lost. And they actually number their, their streets in Etobicoke, like where the lakeshore is near Humber College Lakeshore Campus. They name their streets there. They number their streets there. So yeah, anytime, when, whenever I came here as a kid, whenever I visited Miami at all as a kid, I would come to Miami Beach. And in January, 2013, I stayed in a hotel in this borough this Miami Beach. Well, basically, it's kind of an island because you see it runs along uh, the main channel. Basically, there's the MacArthur Causeway and then just south of the MacArthur Causeway is the main channel. Well, main channels in between MacArthur Causeway and Dodge Island where the cruise ships are. So, yeah. And so also there's Biscayne Bay, which is not, which is, I, I think it's not far from here, but, but also there's this uh, street called Biscayne Boulevard, which is where, it's next to where MacArthur Causeway starts. island right here um, it's it kind of looks like a beach resort oh my gosh why do they have to do so much construction there they're doing so much construction in Miami City on in on Biscayne Boulevard it looks like they're you see on Biscayne Boulevard they're they're like building a looks like they're building an outdoor theater but I wonder what they're doing here I even checked Google Maps Street View so I already know where I'm getting around I already knew that to where I'm gonna end up was gonna what was gonna look like because you know I always check Google Maps Street View but uh, obviously they're they were doing construction back like uh, so I already know I have to put up with construction noise and all that I mean are they trying to modernize the city or what but anyhow um, I I do think this is a nice place and it's it's good to visit to visit this place because before time comes because by 2050 this city is projected to be flooded permanently flooded you know because uh of the rising sea levels you know climate change is real and and uh, there's global warming and it's causing the causing the sea levels to rise because the Arctic and probably the Antarctic water are melting so yeah when the sea levels rise there'll be places that will be permanently flooded thank God Toronto is not on the list but yeah New York City is gonna be permanently flooded and that's like that's like the most major city of the world New York I've never been in New York but I should I am thinking of going there eventually and obviously this is just plain land here But when this does happen, you know, because Miami Beach is so close to shore, this island will be will be uh, permanently flooded first, and then Miami City. But I, but yeah, this this is this island's more vulnerable. It's vulnerable to floods and whatnot.
I'm already feeling at home, like, like it's such a nice city and when you look at those buildings, they're much taller, like, they're taller than when, when you're when you're there in person because then in comparison with Google Maps Street View, because when you're, when you're on Google Maps Street View and you're looking at the tall buildings, yeah, you know they're going to be tall, but when it comes, when you're actually there in person, it's taller than you think. And last night I already felt at home because, you know, as soon as I got to my hotel room last night, I already felt at home. So it's such a welcoming city to everyone. But yeah, that's part of the reason why I came here to, um, to this island because this is where I stayed in January 2013 and anytime I come to Miami I always come to Miami Beach because I was here in January 2015 and I and my plan is to do videos in places where I used to go to when I was a kid Like this is like why I did my, why I made a video. Well, part of the reason why, that's part of the reason why I made a video at uh, Dixie Outlet Mall, which is in Mississauga, Ontario. And, uh, and that's also why I made videos in the Thistletown area. Cause obviously that's where I used to live. And not to confuse you people who are living in Miami, who's watching this video. I know you're not gonna talk, no, have any idea what I'm talking about. That's because I'm from Toronto. I'm a Torontonian. I'm just visiting your city. But yeah, that's also why I've been doing some research of Miami, so I could talk about this this city that I'm that I'm in all along, you know, rather than just. Uh, talk about whatever I want okay this is 69th Street I know the hotel that I stayed in in January 2013 is somewhere around here I hope it's not I hope I'm not leaking personal info because you know um, first of all that was 10 years ago and second of all I don't even remember what my hotel looked like It might have been this one, I don't know. I have no clue. But I know it was somewhere around here and I, the only way I could tell is because of that IHOP. As a matter of fact, anytime I come here, I always go to this IHOP. But I won't be going there this trip. But yeah, anytime I went as a kid, I would always go to this IHOP. It always brings back the memories. Like I've been to this IHOP three times. Well, actually, I, I might have been there, like, more than once in January 2013, but, like, three trips, okay? I've been here, bit, I visited this city three times, so that is that. So, yeah, this is basically an example of me doing a walking video in somewhere where I used to go to as a kid. Because my, my channel features transit, nature, walking, and then walking videos, plus nostalgia as well. I think these might be queen palms over there. I know the queen palms are kind of like very thin or something. There's 72nd Street. I'll just go up one more street and then end my video. Ah, 
it smells like I can actually smell the beach from here. Frozen yogurt? That must be an ice cream shop. Oh, it's closed. I mean, I, I mean, it's not closed, but it's uh, not open yet. I mean, it's because it says coming soon, right? I guess you could say it's closed because when it, when it says coming soon, it means it's still closed, just hasn't opened yet. Like, see what I mean about construction? Yeah, like, look at that. I don't know what on earth they're doing, and I remember seeing a lot of construction in Orlando. Especially when you get near the downtown Orlando area. Okay, and I think this might be... I have to look at what this park is called. I, I know... I know it's called something, but I forget what it was. The Skein House of Refugee. No, that's not the name of the park. I think it's like... Well, I mean, thank goodness I still have phone data on me. I, I know the name of the park, I just forgot. I think it's North Miami Oceanside. I think it's called North Miami Beach Oceanside Park. But yeah, this will be it. And that's a new flyer. I think... That's actually an, a 2018 new Flyer XN40. All very interesting. So, yeah, take care, guys. And stay warm. Because I know it's very cold back in Toronto, back at home. So, yeah, keep warm, everyone.